five and four hyper beasts five winners all you got to do is click the thumbs up button make sure you like playlist is public on your youtube channel subscribe and comment down below enjoy the video all right everybody how's my quad squad doing it's the man the myth the legend quad mft here back again coming to you guys with another CSGO video. Today we're going to be going over, yeah, you read the title right, the CSGO skin crash of 2016. Basically the past two and a half to three months when skin prices have gone down steadily, like heavily, like especially really common skins like Op Asimov's, AK Vulcans, common knives like M9 Dopplers, Karamba Dopplers, things like that. They've steadily declined between like 25 to 45%, which is insane. It's honestly insane, so I wanted to cover that and tell you guys what I think about it and get your thoughts as well. So go down in the comment section below and tell me, with, of course, over the past few months, CSGO skin price is heavily declining. Tell me down in the comments if you think from about about six months from when this video is uploaded, about six months from September 4th or 3rd, whatever today is, I don't know why I don't know, but about six from, months from now, do you think the skin prices in general are going to increase, stay the same, or decrease? Go down in the comment section below. I'll try to reply to everybody, or at least a lot of you guys, so go down in the comments and tell me that. Also, I want to remind you guys, if you're brand new to the channel, click that sub button and also drop a like if you do enjoy. And if you want to earn some free CSGO skins, check out the free my apps link on your phone. It can be Android or iPhone. It doesn't matter. Link down in the description below. So let's get into it, boys. I'm going to be honest with you with the CSGO skin crash of 2016. I'm low-key kind of happy that it happened. I, I'm not saying that it's like bad for the community or good for the community because in reality I don't think it really matters that much because I think people are gonna be interested in CSGO skins no matter what because it's not like I, I get it if you if you join the CSGO community two years ago and you're like holy shit I love skins and then now two years later you're like I really don't care or you're like you know they're cool they're cool I like when a new case comes out but eh I, I already have the skins I like or uh, I have some things like I gotta pay for I gotta pay for my food rent whatever th things like that maybe you're past that but there's constantly, believe it or not, new people finding out about CSGO and CSGO skins in general every single day. There's new players joining the community, players leaving the community. There's constantly more and more people finding out about the game. So I don't really like it when people use the argument like, oh, I'm overskinned. Everybody's overskinned. It's just, it's not true. With a constant, you know, player base that's in, not necessarily improving, but increasing, I guess. Maybe not statistically by numbers, but getting new people as well. People who just are finding out about CSGO skins and CSGO in general. So I, I'd, I'd appreciate if you guys could stay away from that. But still, whatever, I'm happy that it happened. I'm happy that CSGO skins in general went down in price. You know, that may be because I didn't have thousands of dollars in skins like some people <laughs> like six months ago where some people have, you know, $10,000 in skins and then they come back and check three months later now or four or five months later and now their $10,000 in skins is now worth $5,500 or $5,000 cut in half. I wasn't one of those people and I'm still not going to do that. I don't think I'll ever be like that, but still. I'm kind of happy it happened. It makes getting skins, like great skins, like an M9 Doppler, an M9 Fade, or Bayonet Fade, Flip Knife Doppler, whatever skin it, it comes down to, AK Vulcans, AK Fuel Injectors, Fire Serpents, all the awesome skins, it makes them a lot easier to get. You don't have to be a rich Dubai multi-millionaire collector to now have a Dragon Lore, or to now have an AK Vulcan or something, Op Asimov. You know, it, it, it's it's honestly nice. It gives people who don't have the most amount of money but still really like CSGO skins a little bit more of an opportunity to get them. So you'd be pretty surprised at the amount of people who are still buying skins. Trust me on that one. You don't have to be crazy rich to afford a decent knife now. It's really awesome. Again, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I, I didn't have like thousands of dollars in skins before the quote unquote skin crash of 2016 happened. So that's probably why I'm kind of happy about this. Also, like I said, skins have dropped like 25 to 45 percent in value, which is a shitload, especially popular skins. Like again, like all oh, pass mobs, AK Vulcans, M9 Dopplers, Fades, Karamba Dopplers, common skins. I'm not saying like it's common to have a Karam Karamba Doppler. That's just a fairly common knife that people have when they have a few hundred dollar knife. Like Karamba Doppler is pretty freaking common also although the market is like really extremely low right now and skins are really really cheap compared to especially what they used to be now there are more skins in the game a lot of people will say like oh csgo skin market is crashing all the skins are going down sell out now get rid of all your skins now sell out go 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 they're they're gonna be worth you know five dollars for a karamba doppler next week sell all your skins you know although the skins are really really cheap right now or not really really cheap but they're pretty cheap especially when you want a nice one there are more skins in the game there there's new cases coming out every like three months or so so as well as knives like with the gamma 2 knives like you can't tell me that a karambit gamma doppler is cheap when it's like five six hundred bucks like <laughs> that's not cheap really it's not especially for how common 
it, it, it is. Like, I'm not saying that Chroma Gamma Dopplers are common at all. It's just like if you look back right when the original Dopplers came out in the Chroma case, they were around that price as well. So there's new 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 skins constantly coming out. And people wanting these new Gamma skins also has to do with the reason why other skins and older skins like the Chroma Knives, like Tiger Tooths, Dopplers, Marble Fades, Damascus Steels are decreasing in price because you do have skins like the Gamma 2 Knives where you have, you know, free hands, Gamma Dopplers, Lores, Black Lambs, things like that. You have new skins coming out all the time as well as like AK-47 skins, like the AK-47 Neon Revolution that just came out in the Gamma 2 case. Like, believe it or not, I read it up on an OP skins post that actually said 11 days ago. Let me read this out to you. I'll link it down in the description below probably. Valve released the Gamma 2 case, which features 17 new skins. It's the fourth case that's been given, given to us this year in 2016. And they said they're delighted by the constant new releases with Valve providing a new case every trimester, blah, 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 saying that the AK-47 Neon Revolution Factory New has a suggested price of 150 bucks, which is a shitload, as well as the FAMAS Roll Cage and Stat Track being extremely expensive. And they're also saying this is the most important part, so listen up. Upon its original release, the, the, ga the Gamma 2 case, excuse me, it had a price tag of about $3.79. But after 11 days, uh, 11 days, 11 days, it now holds an asking price of about 90 cents, which it's decreased a lot since this post seems like a nosedive. But that's the way the skin market works, especially with cases. In theory, despite this being the fourth case this year that Valve has managed to give us a set of cases and release has not been as groundbreaking as, you know, the wildfire case or the gamma case. It still manages to improve on skin prices. Now, keep in mind it's still increasing skin prices. So don't think like, oh, fuck, man. I hate the Gamma 2 case. It, it lost its value so fast. A point could be made that the price is due to their limited availability, but this is the post being written almost two weeks, and it's been a lot longer since then after the case was released, which means that there are enough units out there to have a good idea of what the price will be in the future. So it's basically saying that even though everybody's saying like, oh, the Gamma 2 cases were so cheap and they, they fell off so quickly, all the skins suck, everybody hates them. That's not really like the truth. Like, there's still so many skins like the, the Neon Revolution and the Statrack Roll Cage, as well as like all the all it still has the gamma knives, it still has the lures, the gamma dopplers, all the all the knives that are incredibly expensive, especially like emeralds and stuff. Those are still extremely expensive. And it's surprising to me at why the gamma cases drop so much, because I think they're like, I don't want to say profitable because cases in general are not a good investment at all, but it's a lot more profitable than a lot of different cases. So there are a lot of other cases, at least like that, because that's also a reason why I really only open up gamma cases, gamma two cases and chromas, because I am banking on getting that knife on getting that Doppler or, you know, Sapphire Karambit or something like that, or please give me an Emerald Karambit, but still. I think that's another thing that a lot of people miss out on. Don't realize that, oh, they say the skin market's crashing, Gamma 2 sucks. Well, if you look at the stats, it kind of really, really doesn't. This is, sorry, I'm, I'm spending a lot of time on this, but also the CSGO skin market, don't forget, this is extremely young. It's not like the people who are saying they can completely predict the market and they know exactly what's gonna happen next week. That's not, you don't know. Like you may know a, a few weeks ahead and may have an awesome prediction and may know something about CSGO that not everybody else knows. And you may know that the skin market is gonna crash or it's gonna launch up and you're gonna stock up on skins while it's low. You know, you buy low and you sell high. That's how, you know, that's how, whatever, that's the stocks market stuff. That's how you make profit. You buy really low, you buy when the skins are low, you buy when uh, whatever gambling gets messed with and Valve makes a post about it. You buy then and you buy all Basimov's field tested at $17 or whatever stupid price they were right when that announcement got released. You buy, you stock up on like 100 of them and then you sell them like a few months later when everybody calms down and they're now back to their original price of like 25 bucks and you make $8 per op Asimov and let's say that's 800 bucks profit. Like <laughs> that's, you buy low and you sell high. That's how it works. And you obviously if you could just do that anytime you wanted, and you just somehow knew that they were going to go up. Obviously, everybody would do that. But again, it's a young market. It's 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 CSGO skins have been out for like three years, max, max. And you can't really predict it. You can I guess you can make a, a good like guess, a educated guess. What am I in school? <laughs> but you can make a guess. And if you're right, then you profit. So like especially with new skins and new knives releasing quite consistently, I think that the skin market definitely still has a place. I'm probably in the minority. I'm probably like one of the very few people who still think that, you know, I think skins could easily go up at any time, but I'm just going to stick with it. I'm going to stick with it. I'm not going to go with the flow. I'm not going to go with the crowd. Obviously, I, I we all have, you know, had our times with having really expensive skins, whether that be in proportion to you having, God, I'm using so many weird words. I got to remember, not, not everybody here is like 25 years old, but still like with, with having proportion, you, you may have a $25 knife and that might, might be a lot to you, but We've all had those times where we bought skins, sold them, lost them, whatever happened. And we've all experienced, not, I can't say that. I can't say we've all experienced having good skins because that's not true. Some of you guys literally only have drop skins. But still, 
you you know what it's like to see somebody have a bunch of skins and then sell them and buy them back and be all over the place because i know people who will buy skins uh, say oh why'd i buy skins sell them buy skins a month later do they over and over wash rinse repeat over and over and over and they buy them for different prices and they they those people get a really good like experience of what the csgo skin market is like because they're like oh i just bought this bayonet marble fade for 300 bucks and i sold it for 300 come back later and now it's 210 what the heck i'm glad i sold it then blah 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 and they'll come back and then it'll be 340 and then all things over the place like that so obviously that's extremely important with knowing skin prices and those people know a lot also with sites shutting down and Valve doing taking action about some things like that, that lowers the price of skins to a certain degree. That's also why the the CS:GO crash, the skin crash of 2016, kind of originally started, is because of that. I, I believe, or at least to a certain degree, it has something to do with Valve taking action towards you know betting sites and things like that. Also, with CS:GO Lounge being affected and not being able to really at all, seriously, to completely shut it down, not being able to all bet on games at least through CS:GO Lounge, they didn't they didn't finish off a bunch of other sites that are like lounge but still not being able to do that also affected prices so again there's going to be events that go on that affect prices hugely and make them really cheap and there's going to be events that happen where they increase slightly over time or a new case comes out and people are selling their skins really low to buy a bunch of new keys there's just so many things that affect the market i really enjoy it i kind of feel like it's a stock like when i hold a certain skin or i hold a certain knife or something like that i kind of feel like it's a stock like oh i like watching it go up and down i like knowing oh i just bought let's say whatever uh an op asimov for 20 bucks and then i check back a month later and now it's worth 26 or i check back a month later now it's worth 14. it's it, it's fun it's fun it really is i think obviously skins will go up and down and, and steady out then something will happen in the future whether it'll whether it'll launch the skins up in price or down in price when skins go way up obviously you want to sell them when they go way down obviously it's fun to slightly invest or i guess you can call it invest slightly invest quote unquote in the skins depending on how much money you have personally i think it's fun to invest in skins and see whether they go up and down not saying you should invest your life savings or your college payment or anything like that just saying you know buying a ten dollar skin and seeing where it is at in six months is fun whether it loses a price it probably will if it's from a brand new case or if it's a really old skin and you think that it could randomly increase in price. You know, you guys don't know it, but like Glock fades that are like 200, 300 bucks now it used to be like literally $10. That was a long time ago. And imagine if you just randomly stocked up on them. Obviously, that's an anomaly. It really is. It's incredibly lucky that that happened. I'm sure somebody in the world had 10 Glock fades and was like, holy shit, I just made a thousand bucks or 2000 bucks. Obviously, that happened and it's probably not going to happen to you, but it's fun. It's fun to see if it does and fun to see if certain skins become a rarity and certain patterns and phases and shit like that happen. So that's just kind of my rant. This is a really long rant video about the CSGO skin crash of 2016. Hopefully you enjoyed. Like I said, if you guys want to try and earn some free CSGO skins or Steam gift cards or gift cards in general, check out the free my apps link, link down in the description below. Go ahead and download some apps and earn free points on there. You can do it on Android or iOS. It's up to you. It's been your boy Quad. Thanks for hanging. For you guys who made it till this point in the video, I'm sweating my ass off because I'm you can't you guys can't see my face cam, but I'm it's really hot in this room and I'm doing a bunch of hand movements and I don't know why I do so many hand movements during my videos. It'd be hilarious if you guys saw me do one of these with a webcam that's not like a live video, but still I'll probably work on one of those in the future. Subscribe if you haven't already. Join the quad squad. Dude, we just hit 116k. Thank you guys so much for that. And we're working our way up to 120k. It's awesome. I'm so excited and I'm so excited for my YouTube plaque for 100k. I'll make sure to like do like an unboxing and show you guys in one of my videos. So click the like button if you did enjoy it if you made it to this point you're a true quad squad member you're a true dedicated member of the quad squad go down in the comment section below and comment the word xbox live i don't know why i said that i have an xbox live card somewhere here on my desk so comment the, <laughs> comment the word xbox live i'll try to reply to the majority of you guys i really do work on replying to comments and i really do spend a lot of time on that so xbox live down in the comments below it's been your boy quad thanks for hanging thanks for chilling click like if you did enjoy you just want to support me and i'm at five thousand peace Thank you.